luck is gone my way Wherever I go, hard luck is dead in state Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a coming my way It's just after six o'clock in the morning and right now Jessica and I are in Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, waiting in line for the opening day of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. All right, a lot of these folks in this line have been here since five o'clock in the morning, but let's do what everybody loves to do. Let's walk the line so you can see how crazy this is right now. Oh my gosh! Am I allowed to walk back there? Um, you would lose your space up here if you don't. Okay, no, no, you're good. You got help. Let's see. I don't know how far back it goes, but. All right, so I have reached the part where I can't go any further, and way, way, way over there. What's up, guys? The line is extraordinarily long. I don't know how we got so lucky. To be a pro oh my god, I can't even imagine for those people. We've been in line for just about exactly three hours now and we are finally moving. The park is officially open. We moved quite a bit. We're about ready to enter the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And I'm going to hold you guys right here. Oh, oh yeah. my god, it's happening. We are finally in the queue line to get into Hogsmeade. Alright Jessica, it's been like three hours of waiting in line. How do you feel? Like three hours, honestly. Um, you know, because you get here, you're tired. You're but, uh, I'm excited. It's hot. Oh my god, yeah. My robes. Yeah, I chose not to wear my robes today, but Jessica is representing Slytherin. There she goes. The the fan behind you is really making it awesome with your hair. There you go. Spooky. Rather curious as to what the rest of the park is like. The train to London King's Cross is only a 10 minute wait. Which is pretty much walk-on. Yeah, it's pretty much walk-on. This line though, we've heard, is over eight hours. It stretches all the way down to the beginning of the park. If you're at the beginning of the park. Yeah, if you're at the beginning of the park. in line, you're gonna spend all day here. Oh man, and it's gonna get hot. Yeah. You can kind of see it through that archway, but that sign right there shows that it is a hot set. They are doing some filming in there. And there are stars from the Harry Potter movies here today. We probably won't get to see them, but Warwick Davis is here, Tom Felton's here, Rupert Grint is here, as well as the, the, the brothers, the twin brothers. I can never remember the names. I don't know their names. But everybody's here, including Luna. Yeah, probably won't get to see them, but it'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? And would you look at that. We are finally here. Again. This is like our own backyard. Good morning, sir. <laughs> we will, we will. Look at this beautiful, beautiful entrance. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Last time we were here, they didn't have these banners up here. Those banners really add a nice touch, don't they? Oh wow, that's just beautiful. Look at that, holy crap. So they just informed us Jessica has to ride side cart because she's wearing her Slytherin robe.
Holy crap, that's beautiful. There's the castle over there. They're filming people on the ride. Oh man. Now this is officially the best view of the entire park. Holy crap. This is amazing.
Of course, none of this will happen when you actually drive the bikes. Uh, you need to stand in the stables. Might be safer to duplicate the bikes down there. More room. Then you can ride them. motorbike adventures and I'm telling you what it was phenomenal it was pretty intense but in a very good way I had a lot of fun what do you think Jessica I love you Disney but this is now the greatest ride between both parks this is the best roller coaster best ride oh my God. in all of Orlando like it was phenomenal I have an instant addiction instant I mean oh my goodness I nothing but good things to say I want to go on it again and again and again and again and again and again and again it was so good I cried at the end like I got teary-eyed and one of our friends uh, he said he cried too Ben so it, it was it was pretty pretty darn good what it, so the it got really 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 fast in certain yeah. areas like yeah. it completely caught me off guard I found myself screaming like out of excitement and joy not like out of being afraid but no, it was no it's not scary at all it's no. not I mean if you don't like roller coasters you don't like roller coasters so you know uh, you're probably not gonna like it anyway but there is a sudden drop you do go backwards um, I don't think anything was high or ha no. had a steep drop nothing like that so it was nice and smooth like hotter um, 
Um, you know how like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is smooth? This is smooth like that. Yeah, it was very smooth. I don't remember really the roller coaster that was here, Dueling Dragons. Dueling Dragons. I know it was a very like a, a fan favorite yeah. of many people. I rode it once. Yeah, Twisty Turnies. This was completely unexpected. Yeah. Uh, we heard two people. Uh, one of them said uh, that they've been waiting for a roller coaster, a ride like this, for a long time. Yeah. And uh, the other one said that you know that this, if anything was to replace Dueling Dragons, this would be it. And I'm telling and you they what. Did a good job. Yeah, like it's going to be hard for Disney to top this. It's going to be hard for Universal to top this again. Really great rides that are really submersive and everything, but man. Everything that they've done here at um, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter here in Orlando has been top notch. They haven't cut any corners, and I mean, you can't help but not be impressed, I think. We see all kinds of people here dressed in robes, but this is the very first time they're actually seeing the monster book. This is phenomenal. You two look Thank great. You. Thank you. We're celebrating all things Hagrid. All things Hagrid. And of course, this is the book that I required all of the students to get. For Care of Magical Creatures. For Care of Magical Creatures class. So you said, you, so you're dressed as, you're Hagrid. I'm a Hagrid. She's Hagrid. Hagress. 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 I yes. love it. And you guys have yes. been here since 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 in the morning. Yeah. Both of you. Really, but yeah. yeah. Earlier, Earlier than that, but yeah. about 4, yeah. Now, but did you ride it? We did. We went on the yeah. Hag ride. The Hag fun. ride? Yes. Hashtag yeah, that Hag is ride. The that's the hashtag. That's because it's hashtag way Hashtag Hag than ride. This is a very long name. Yeah. Hashtag. Oh, we're we're taking the, the hashtag yeah. over. So, hashtag Hag ride. Hag ride. Hag yeah. ride. I like it. Yeah. Well, what did you think of the Hag ride? It was amazing. Yep. Far, like, surpassed my expectations like a hundred times. Now, did yeah. you ride Dueling Dragons when it was here before? Yes. Yes. So, were you a Dueling Dragons fan? No. No? So, this I mean, one whatever. Was like, it was whatever. It was just like a rickety old 90s roller yeah. coaster, and I know people you know, have nostalgia for it, but... You reach a certain age, and you can't really do rickety nostalgia. Yeah, like it hurts your neck. Roller coasters anymore. <laughs> this was so smooth. Oh, and it's and so Way amazing. more fun. So great. The technology's awesome. Can't say enough good things about it. So let's go ahead and check out some of the merchandise they have here for Hagrid's new ride. They have this really cool Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure Bag. I really like that artwork right there. It's very cool. It kind of reminds me of the old Halloween Horror Night stuff. There's the dog. Right below it, there's the Monster Book of Monsters. And below him, you got some unicorns. There's cups and a mug with the same picture as the bag and a hat that says Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. I'm not a big hat person. I mean, I like fedoras, but not ball caps. You can also get a t-shirt with that art on there for $25. And check this out, right next to it, you can get the art print. It's actually pretty nice. Oh, these are cute. Little bracelets, kind of like Alex and Annie. So this looks like the theme, just like the bag. You have a magnet, which looks really nice, nice and clear. And the pin, which is pretty much the same make as their Halloween Horror Nights pins, how it's 3D. And it's not bad, that one's only eight, and this one's only seven. Here's a different design for the women's shirt here. It's a Cornish pixie. They are kind of cute, but you gotta stay away from them. Right below that, there's the spider. I can never remember the darn spider's name. Algorath? Aragoth? Aragog. 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 And more Cornish Pixies. On the other side of the cart here, they have a t-shirt with Fang on it. And right below them, you can take home your very own Fang as well. Now Jessica already has her wand, but if you come here now that the new ride is open and you buy a wand, you get a different map. This time, with Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure listed on it. That's actually really cool. Also, every month, Universal Studios does this nice little thing for pass holders. They give you these pass holder buttons. This time, this month, for Hagrid, they have a special Harry Potter one. It says, the Green Man, a symbol for those like Hagrid who respect nature and all of its magical creatures. It is officially around 2 o'clock right now, and to give you an idea of how popular this ride is, we got here at 6 o'clock this morning. We finally was able to ride the ride around noon, six hours later, and right now, this is the lowest it's been all day at 300 minutes. Crazy. But you know what? The ride is 100% worth it. it. Looks like the afternoon Florida storm is starting to roll in. I'm telling you what. 
the clouds just behind Hagrid. That's looking pretty awesome. And just like a beautiful horror movie, with the storm coming in, the banners of Hagrid's are starting to blow. Something wicked, this way comes. Good stuff. With the storm rolling in, we're gonna head over to the other side of the park. And for that, we have to take the train. Right now, it's only 30 minutes. So we ended up taking the train over to the Universal Studios side to leave the park because it was so busy over there and we realized we didn't get any butterbeer today. So we're heading over into Diagon Alley to get some butterbeer. Uh, it may seem kind of busy, but actually the crowd levels here aren't that bad because everybody's over there trying to get on the Hagrid ride. 
So we're gonna head over towards the stage where Celestina Warbeck performs and get some butterbeer. Our favorite place to get butterbeer here in Diagon Alley is over here by the Allery. It's just a really unique cooler. I just love the architecture here. And plus, that little statue right there, the one right there, it's one of those mermaid people. And if you do it right with your interactive wand, it'll spit water on the crowd. All right, Jessica, what kind of butterbeer are we getting today? Frozen. Frozen? Yes. Is that the one that you like the most? It's the bay. I can't do it. I'm doing Jack Black from Nacho Libre. It's the bay. That's perfect. It's terrible, but it's it, no, it is the best though. Now be careful not to get a brain freeze, which happens quite a bit when we drink these things. Brain freeze? Let's see the cup. Oh, the sign. What does it say? Wizarding World of Harry Potter. This is pretty much a staple here. Every time you come and visit this place, you have to get one. Did you even go to Harry Potter if you didn't get a Yeah. Jessica's not a big fan of the foam. I like the foam. So she usually takes a couple of drinks before I get in there and mix it all up. It's because it's a signature drink. First taste of butterbeer today. And now I can honestly say the Haggard opening day ride is done right. With that being said, we're gonna finish this butterbeer, but I'm gonna to have to say today was a great day. It was. Long day. Best ride in all of Orlando is the new Hagrid yes. roller coaster. I am completely exhausted. My body is wrecked. I'm falling asleep standing up, but it was completely worth it. I think it's about time we head home. Yeah, I think it's time to go home. Thank you so much for giving us something so amazing. Right? Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come to my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 